Why, hello there, it's Halo with the Arm again, reporter. This is Freitag. So, of course, it's a good day, right? Unless you're in an affected area, potentially. Here's what's going on. We've got a whole, huge bunch of states in this slight risk area and then another slight risk area down there. Let's fast forward to the time machine. So I actually did figure out how you can get directly to the models if you go direct to the rapid refresh .noah.gov website. You're looking for this, three kil kilometer per conus, whatever it is. And then you click on that and you're looking for composite reproductivity. What this is, is it's based on the model. What, if things panned out exactly how the model thought, here's what the radar would look like. So, and here's how you switch between the times, because sometimes, I guess, when a model is just run, they don't actually have, a lot of times, it's only going up to, like, five hours or something. So you can always switch to an earlier one to see farther. Is it farther or further out into the future? It'd probably be further, because it's not a physical distance. Anyway, so if there is one that has a whole bunch of them, you just click on the checkbox for the loop. And then here you go. So here's what's going to happen today. Maybe. I don't know. So we see stuff generating, it's all over the place. Yeah, that's not very helpful. But you can play that on your own and see if it's useful to you. I don't know. Here's what's going on right now. It's a bit of thunderstorm warning for Illinois, and of course I always say this, by the time you're watching this, I'm sure it will be long since past. So, that's it for right at the moment. But later on, so here we have the wind probability, so as high as 30% today, and there's your slight risk down there, Texas, Oklahoma, and hail, we've got the significant hail chance again, so this would be one inch or larger hail, and then in the black hatch there is, is where the two inch or larger hail is more likely to occur there than anywhere else, I don't know, but also as high as 30%, and they almost precisely overlap there, but down there, black hatch there as well, oh yes, Winds, 58 miles per hour greater, that's the severe winds. Tornado chance as high as 5% today for South Dakota, smidgen Minnesota, Iowa, and Nebraska. How about that? So, numbers, they mean stuff. That means 5% chance. You pick any random point, such as there, where my mouse is. That means there's a 5% chance that the person who lives there or someone within 25 miles of them will see a tornado. That's what that means, if that means anything at all. Who knows? Tomorrow, though. Right. South Dakota. Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, maybe Kansas, I don't know, Nebraska. Basically, where the tornado risk is today, it looks like, sort of, is a slight risk tomorrow. And we can pop on over to here. And again, we've got this huge streaming thing where there's 5% covering quite a few states. 5% there for Texas and Oklahoma. Day after tomorrow. Moves on there, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, other places where, what I've missed, Arkansas, Oklahoma, right. And then the, the specific probability map, yes, bleh. Anyway, 15% there, and then the 5% stretching all along that. Day four through eight, we're back to the words predictability too low. So there may well be severe weather, but there's not enough confidence yet in the models or the Storm Prediction Center to tell us where or when. Unless, of course, you like to read. Then you can find out, oh, so there, I guess, is where as maybe it's going to be. But yeah, no confidence. Not enough confidence, whatever it is. So yes, if you're in one of the hundred states affected today by a slight risk area, you should absolutely pay attention. Wicked Wix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X is weather.gov, Storm Prediction Center, Hell, you know, you just go into Google, you type in the word weather and see what happens. Who knows? And Google might, I think for some locations, they might even tell you your current forecast if you like that sort of thing, whatever it is. Anywho, enjoy your weekend.